Hey guys, Steph here today. I'm going to do a vlog. I am back in London, so I thought I would take you shopping with me again. I am just outside Selfridges, which is here. So I'm going to go in and take you around Dior, Chanel, Louis Vuitton, and see what the brands have got in stock. Enjoy. If you are like this video, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell down below. Let's go shopping. Okay, so our first stop is Christian Dior um, on the bottom floor of Selfridges. Um, this is the store that I'm most excited about because I absolutely love this book tote bag. I've been debating one for a while. I also really like the gray though. And here you can see the dark blue and the gray. So I've been debating between these two colorways um, and I really wanted to go in and see some of them in person again. Here we've got the oblique print. We've got the Dior saddle bag. Um, I've had one of these before. I do like them, but maybe just not for me. So this is the new kind of checkerboard print with hearts on. Um, I feel like this is Valentine's Day kind of style, quite quirky. I'm quite liking this. And then we've got some like love hearts as well um, and like world prints dark reds and blacks again to say that this is July it feels very much like possibly a February Valentine's Day collection but I'm really liking it anyway here are some of actually the new micro bags this is the vanity case and it's super cute and super small um personally I don't know what I would use it for so much um but they have one here in black and then like um a blush pink color which is really nice. A few other of the bags and accessories available. Um, here I am trying the book tote bag on. This is in the checkerboard print. Um, it matches my outfit quite well, what do you think? Here's the one with the love heart on and the kind of world there. Really like that. Um, again, I prefer just more of a neutral, but I'm really liking it. Here's the Lady Dior in the same print. The thi I don't like the handles on the Lady Dior so much, but I do think it's a nice bag. So the following day, I actually went back and tried this one on because the other one had sold. This is the new astrology print. So I saw these come online. I went in and um, a lovely woman, sales associate, gave me this one to try on. It's like an off-white with black, which again, really matched my outfit. Really liking that one. Now let's head to Louis Vuitton. As you can see on the back walls here, we've got lots of leather. We've got a little bit of monogram canvas and there was quite a few trunks, but they're definitely pushing the leather stuff and the new uh, Wild at Heart. So I've finally been able to see the Cousine bag in person. Here we've got the neon color and then we've got the cream and black. I definitely like the cream in person. Like it's my favorite color. I still wouldn't buy this bag, um, but it's very, very soft and luxurious if you do like it. Uh, quite a big bag as well. And another one that I really wanted to see in person was the Speedy B. This is the new one. Uh, this is um, one of the smallest sizes of Speedy. I believe this is the 22. And it's in a beautiful soft leather. Again, black leather with the gold chain. These chains are actually heavier than I thought they would be. Walking on the way to the main accessories hall then, I just had to quickly film this at Christian Louboutin. This is the makeup section and I'm just absolutely loving the packaging. Like these nail varnishes look like roses. How beautiful is that? Um, I'm definitely looking to get some, um, you know, if you want a few standout pieces in your kind of dressing room. Another nail varnish here. They're very dramatic. The packaging itself is a statement. Um, but yeah, really, really loving the Christian Louboutin makeup here as you go through Selfridges. Now onto the main accessories haul. So first on the left hand side you've got sunglasses but we're going to head over to the right and take a look at some of the bags. Here are a few from Off-White. Um, salary inside, not sure about this one, um, definitely quite in your face. Now for Jacques Mousse, um, a few of the bags here. I've wanted to see some of these in person. This is one of the new wicker versions. How cute is this for summer? Like a miniature bag, here's a white leather one. You've got the different sizes. They are, even though they're mini bags, I do think you could get a few little bits in them, like a lipstick. I'm not sure 
about your mobile phone so if you're not too bothered about carrying that then they're the right size now heading over to one of my favorite designer bag brands Givenchy there was 30% off I actually wish I'd paid a bit more attention um, because I might have actually purchased some of these you've got these mini Antigonas here at 290 pounds a few silk scarves there the, this mini Antigona reduces £740. It was originally £1,550. Not really my style. I'm not feeling the red. I would prefer one in navy, but they only had red ones out. Um, but for things that weren't on sale, um, here we have the Antigona. This is a small size in a baby pink with a silver chain. Quite a few of the Antigonas now are coming with this like chain. Personally, I'm just I bought some from Amazon and I just put them on um, but I do quite like these new ones with them it does make the bag a little bit heavier but I think a really nice accessory this is one of the new soft Antigonas um, this one's got like studs on it and rings very quirky out there um, but very heavy as well I will say that when I pick this one up I prefer the smaller Antigonas here with the kind of locks on the front now let's take a look at Bulgari here are some of the bags with the kind of snake head on the front of the bags, which are quite popular, although very similar to some bags from Kurt Geiger at the minute. Um, but they look really nice. Um, again, not for me though. Now, Gucci, this is the Diana bag, which is coming back in fashion. You've got the bamboo handle and the rubber band, which holds the handle um, to the correct shape. Um, I'm not a huge fan of Gucci bags. I don't know why. Um, so I didn't spend too long here. Um, I am heading over to Chloe now. I quite like Chloe bags. Um, as you know, I like the woody tote bag and they had a few items on sale. So I thought I would quickly record them. I'm loving this little top handle bag with the kind of shearling on there. This again was in the sale really really nice with the kind of cream and then the tan and the gold this one was reduced to 940 pounds here are a few of the bags that aren't on sale some of these are still full price but again you've got your top handle i'm not exactly sure what style of bag this is called um but yeah you've got them in the kind of fake crocodile prints so now heading to chanel uh, you do need to book an appointment uh, when i went here's the mulberry store next to chanel um, but there is um, another Chanel store which I'll take you to in a second which is in the accessories um, but just from the displays this is a popular bag that I'm seeing quite a lot now I'm not sure of the name but I'm seeing it quite a lot and this tote bag sorry for the strobing here I couldn't get my phone to stop doing that but this tote bag really really beautiful um, I've got a feeling after this season it will be gone if you like it get your hands on one um, quite a few of these like dog card tags and we've also got a 19 in the window this is in the kind of ox blood color with the mixed hardware so now i'm going to head over to saint laurent again one of my favorite bag brands um, i do feel like saint laurent compared to louis vuitton and chanel you can get bags that are a lot more reasonably priced like full leather I'm loving these like small little pouches with the long gold chains um, playing up to the micro bag trend. Uh, you've got your Lou toy bag. This one's got black hardware, very, very edgy, um, very soft and luxurious, these ones. You've got your cape bag, you've got phone holders, card holders, slides, large pouches. Um, and here the back wall featuring some of my favorite bags you've got the sac du jour on the left here um then you've got your sunset bag you've got your lulu bags but again as everyone knows probably already as the sunset bag is one of my favorite saint laurent bags and i have a black one but i would maybe like to add a red one to my collection so this is like a wine burgundy color and then this one's a bright red i actually think i prefer the bright red but i would like it with gold hardware although i do think the silver does look really nice um, but these are looking very very tempting i'm sure you'll agree and here is a black one i believe these are all medium sizes there's a loo bag and then we've got lots of the cape bag the cape bag is a great classic if you just want a really beautiful simple um evening bag i would go for a kate um, i'm loving this electric blue with the gold as well so many colors to choose from you've got ones with tassels on and ones without tassels on 
Now to Bottega Veneta. I'm really liking the in-store seat there, very uh, on brand with their bags. Here is the cassette bag, which is very popular with influencers. It's definitely a lot heavier than I expected it to be. This is the first time I've actually seen one in person. And here you've got the leather bag. Um, quite a few celebrities wearing this bag. Again, a lot heavier than I thought it would be. Like the chain is very chunky and heavy here, but the leather is very buttery soft. Now let's head to more of a fashion section. I believe this is the third or fourth floor of Selfridges. And I wanted to head specifically to Fendi. So here we are at Fendi, you've got the peekaboo bag here. And I'm actually loving the clothing from Fendi more than the bags. I don't have any bags on my radar, but I'm loving their jackets, their anoraks, just the new prints that they're bringing out and the clothing, um, really nice. This cardigan, just stunning. It's really subtle, but you've got the Fendi logo on there. And you've also got a jumper version. Here are a few of the like miniature bags. Again, mini bag trend. You can't fit a whole lot in here other than a lipstick or maybe a car key, depending on which one you would want to prioritize. Um, but also like in some of the silk scarves. Here you can see a few more of the bags on the back wall here. But the main thing I wanted to come and see was the Fendi puffer jacket. But quickly here are, you know, the peekaboo bag, very classic. So luckily they did have a small Fendi puffer jacket in stock. It was probably the warmest day of the year. So it was a really bad day to try this on, um, but wanted to see, cause I ordered this in large and it was far too big. The small definitely fit, um, very large um, puffer jacket still, but it was incredibly snug and you can reverse this. That's one of the main things I like about it. So I didn't purchase it, but it's definitely on my radar for winter. Now Balmain. I love Balmain just because it's so simple. You know, you've got your black, white, and gold. We're not too colorful. Here we've got the classic blazer in a leather. You've got your buttons on the shoulders. You know, it's all very kind of power dressing, powerful looks. Um, in the access, on this floor, in the accessory section, again, you've got Dior and we've got another Chanel. Um, these were definitely quieter than the ground floor stores. So I would highly recommend if you're in Selfridges to go up to this floor a women's fashion and check it out definitely quieter you've got the red oblique book tote bag here and kind of a red display liking this but i definitely want the small book tote not the large now quickly walking through chanel again you can't get into chanel without appointment on the other one um, but here you could see a bit more of the stock on this floor and walk past them you've got the gabrielle bag here with the top handle really liking that you've got um, a clutch bag there uh, you've got a classic flap and kind of a, a larger wallet on chain here. I'm not sure what that one's called, but it was really nice to see some of these close up. You've got the Deville tote bag. You've got some beanies, like pink fluffy beanies, a large pink Deville. Here is some of the costume jewelry. You've got lots of brooches, earrings and necklaces. So just taking a quick look at the back wall, some necklaces here, pearls. These were actually brooches. I thought they were earrings. It's a shame they weren't. Here, brooches again, um, some necklaces. And yeah, lots of pearls. Absolutely loving the costume jewelry. It's not real gold or silver to my knowledge. Um, but yeah, definitely statement pieces really really liking these now back to the ground floor because i missed this on my way up the chanel factory five this is to celebrate chanel number five um and they've created this this is on the ground floor of selfridges and they've got number five as lots of little things like uh, you've got you can buy the perfume there's a water bottle which everyone wants um you've got lots of other things as well like uh toiletries body cream shower gel uh, so yeah, let's take a quick look inside of here. I didn't have to have an appointment or queue. I did just walk straight in, but I do believe a lot of the products were actually sold out despite them being on display. So you've got a set of body lotions here. These would look really, really beautiful in you know a bathroom, even if they were empty once you've used them all. That is the only way I would justify um, paying for some of these because Chanel number no. five isn't actually my favorite scent. Here is the water bottle. I did ask about this. They have not got any in stock. People went crazy for these. Um, all sold out. But yeah, they did have one on display. So I thought I would get that. If you've been lucky enough to get one, congratulations. Here are some prices. So £40 for a soap, for example. Uh, you've got your body lotion, shower gel. 
Yeah, so that's basically inside Chanel Factory 5. Back to Louis Vuitton now. Um, this is the one, again, upstairs in the women's fashion accessories. Didn't spend too long here because it was very similar to the other one. Lots of leather and the wild at heart print on display there in terms of the bags. Now heading over to Prada. I'm, I do like Prada bags um, and I know a lot of people find these kind of shoulder bags quite popular. Liking these wicker style ones in the bright yellow and pink, but really liking the shearling stuff with the black and the white. Very bold, in your face, um, but very soft to the touch. I think these are quite fun. Um, I did head to Hermes, but I chickened out of filming too much because people were watching me. So this is all you've got, I'm afraid, guys. And here in the footwear section, I thought I would show you some match and match shoes because I know these are really popular now. Um, they're very over the top um, with crystals. If you like that kind of thing, maybe like wedding shoes, they'd be quite cool. You've got bright pinks, um, aqua, aqua blues, silver, gold, like so many colors. I'm now, I believe, on the third or fourth floor of Selfridges and they've got this section which is called the designer quarter. And you've got loads of amazing names like Kenzo, um, Alexander Wang, and, but yeah, highly recommend this floor. It's really, really good, especially if you're looking for a quirky outfit. So I'm just in the changing room now and I'm trying on a Y project which is in the sale and a Jackie Mousse uh, dress that I've been looking at for quite a while. It's the most popular, I believe it's the Bahar dress. Um, but here is the Y project blouse and it's been massively reduced, it's size 34 in a coral red from two, uh, sorry, 680 pounds down to 150. This is what it looks like on. Um, I yeah, just saw that. Here's a Jacquemus dress. This is in uh, like a black linen. Again, I've always liked it. Never taken the plunge, but it seemed to make sense to give it a try. And this is what it looks like on. I am loving the sleeves. And here's the Jacquemus dress. You know, it's very low cut. It's actually cut quite higher than I thought on the body as well. So I decided to leave this one. But if you're looking for something um, very sexy, this is a really beautiful dress. Now, heading out of Selfridges, it's a beautiful day. Um, just to give you an idea of how busy it was, here's a beautiful ice cream store. Lots of people sat outside and we went and had lunch at one of these restaurants. And then near Selfridges is the store Luxury Promise which is a pre-love luxury store. I didn't book an appointment and they weren't opened for a walk-in so they sell lots of pre-love designer luxury. I'm loving these Hermes shearling sandals. A shame I couldn't get in here um, but yeah hoping next time I'll be able to pay the store a visit because they definitely look like they've got some gems. So guys, I hope you have enjoyed shopping in London with me. I particularly enjoyed Selfridges today. Um, just having all the brands there all so close together is amazing. And I really like their designer studio, which I believe is the third or fourth um, floor. And they had lots of cool designer stuff on there on sale. So I, the other, thing that I did want to buy is the Dior book tote bag but when I went back to go and get the uh, dark blue one they had actually sold out so I'm going to order that one online instead um, but I also actually sometimes prefer ordering expensive things online just because you tend to get a better returns policy and you can try the thing on with your clothes and make sure that the item works for you. Um, let me know in the comments do you prefer to purchase in store and have that experience or do you prefer to purchase online um, and then you can try the the item on with your clothes. So what did I get? I only got one thing uh, from Selfridges. This is the blouse and obviously you've seen this on already and it's quite different with the sleeves um, but yeah I just think it's a standout piece. So this is from the Y project and this was originally £680 and it was reduced to uh, 150 pounds there so I decided to go for it just because I figured I would regret it I did check online which is something I always do to see whether I could purchase it from somewhere else but I couldn't and um, they're all sold out online or they're significantly more expensive than 150 pounds 
So yeah, I've gone for it and I'm really hoping that this will be a statement piece that stays in my wardrobe. Now, make sure you stay tuned because coming up next, I will link the video here for you. I actually came to London a few weeks ago and instead of doing Selfridges and Oxford Street, I did Harrods and Bond Street. So if you haven't seen that one already, come shopping with me in London again to Bond Street and Harrods. Enjoy guys.